Good morning, old bean. Um, I saw your desperate plight and I thought I'd try and help you get started on Minecraft in survival mode on an iPad. And I thought it'd be easier to watch me actually physically play it with my fingers so you can see which buttons I'm using, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, I'll try and make it as quick as possible um, to get you started. First thing to do, this is the main screen that you'll, you'll be exactly the same and click settings. I have mine set to auto jump. So that on the right hand side. And what that means is as you pr approach a gradient and the hills, it'll automatically jump up for you and it just makes everything a lot easier. And I've got my sensitivity set to 60 and that's the sensitivity of, of the uh, look around button um, as you press the uh, screen. I have mine set directionally on the left and look around and punch and grab and mine and all that stuff on the right. So. Um, yours will probably be set up just like that. Click play, click create new world, create new world again. Um, it's set to survival mode, difficulty's normal, and um, it's probably best to name your world from the outset because in the end, if the kids are playing it, there's gonna be loads of worlds. So um, I'm gonna call mine <laughs> Oral B because it's the first thing I saw. Um, Seema just bought an electric toothbrush and it's still in the box because she can't be bothered plugging it in um, and create. So what this is doing now is generating an infinite sandstone universe. You can walk around forever and that's the amazing thing about Minecraft is it never ends. So game started, it's a beautiful day and it's the morning and we need to get a crack on because when, it, when the sun goes all the way around, it goes dark, all the zombies can come out um, because they can't survive in daylight because they burn to death. So what we need to do is do as much as we can in our first day in survival mode um, and then we can survive the night. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get tooled up. So first thing to do is you need to collect wood. You need wood to make a crafting table and to collect things, you just hold your finger uh, on the block and when the outer, when the circle reaches the outer edges, then the element has been extracted. Um, the element falls to the ground and to collect it, you just walk to it. As a, as a slight element of like gravity, it, it gravitates towards you, the blocks anyway, but to collect them, you just need to walk over them. If you find that you can't collect something, it's because your um, storage in your inventory is uh, full. So beware of that. I'm gonna create, collect as much as possible while I'm here, because when we go down to a mine, there's no trees, because nothing grows underground, except for mushrooms, I think, from what I remember. Which is very clever, isn't it? So what I'm going to do once I've collected this wood is I'm going to craft some wooden blocks out of them and then from those wooden blocks we'll create a crafting table and from that crafting table we'll make some sticks which we'll, we'll use to make an axe and um, a pickaxe. As you can see the sun's almost halfway across the sky now so we need to get going it's going to be dark soon and the last thing you want to do is be killed so uh just in an open bit of land so you can see what's going on click the bottom right corner and go to the little crafting block there on the right hand side press your dark wood and put it in the crafting squares uh, and we need to just create, you got, we collected 20 blocks of, that's just 19 because I just pressed it once, 20 blocks of dark wood. And we need to create a load of oak planks because everything comes from the planks. Uh, so now we've got, um, what's that, 80 wooden planks. Uh, if we go to um, a magnifying glass, and then we we need to create one crafting table. And from the crafting table, so press the crafting table button, that's automatically set that up within the crafting blocks, created a crafting, I press that and I've got one in the uh, inventory at the bottom. So I am now holding a crafting table and to place it on the ground and I just need to tap it like that. Then to open the crafting table, I just need to tap it. 
And now you can see, uh, I need to make, this is, this is, this is inside the crafting table now. And I need to make some sticks. So I press the stick button. I need to make some sticks because you need handles to make pickaxes, okay? Also, I'm gonna make more than I need because when we go down into the mines and we find some coal, we, um, we'll need to make some torches because it's pitch black in the mines. Uh, the deeper you go, it's just pitch black. And the deeper you go is where you find things like diamonds so you can make um, armor, super strong armor, diamonds to make the strongest pickaxes. And then eventually you can enchant them to make them even stronger. Uh, you can enchant sword, you can make swords, all sorts of things. So we've made a crafting block. Now, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I need to make um, a pickaxe. So I've tapped the pickaxe button. I'm gonna create a few pickaxes. Um, I'm going to dismantle the crafting block by holding my finger on it. And I'm going to take it with me because I'm going to go and find a mine. So you see, it's automatically collected it. I need to look for a, uh, a bit of a hill, really. There, maybe over there. What I'm looking for is a natural entrance to a mine shaft instead of digging one myself. It's not one there. Um... So we can walk down into a mine, get some coal and all the other stuff we need. It's, gen it's, it's generating the world ahead of me. And I'm looking for sort of a natural, there's one down there. So a natural mine shaft. And we're gonna go down into it and I'm gonna select my pickaxe. And the first thing I'm gonna do, see how dark it starts to get down there. First thing I'm gonna do is collect some stone so I can make a stone so I can make stone pickaxes which extract from the oh, 5% battery oh my god tomb game uh, well now it's a race against the battery as well isn't it mate that's exciting I can hear a spider that's not pleasant there uh, you can hear that spider down there so what I'm going to do now is go back to my crafting table, place it there, go into it. I'm going to create, I've got the chance to make three stone pickaxes, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so now I've got three stone pickaxes, they, much, they work much quicker. There's some copper. Which is automatically... Collected, there we go. There's a spider. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. And it's it's released uh, some spider silk there, which can actually be crafted into something else. As you can see, I'm walking around in the dark and I'm just looking for some, just trying to see if I can find some coal. Which is not there. I have to go and find another mine or dig or dig into the wall, but I'm gonna try and just find another mine. No. Shut up. Oh yes, it look there's some coal there, mate. So I'm gonna extract that coal. Take that out of the way. I'm gonna take a look, grab all this coal, and then gonna go back to my crafting table, and we're gonna make some torches so we can see in the dark, and then I'm gonna leave you to it, mate, and go to Minecraftopedia for all the guides of what you can craft and stuff like that. Um, I said I extracted copper before, but I remember now it's iron. And had we extracted three blocks of iron, we could have made an iron pickaxe, which is even quicker. Oh, there's a lovely. Yeah, there's a great, great mine here. I'm going to create a new crafting table down here. Uh, there we go. 
I'm going to get that pickaxe out of the way and go to my crafting table, which is there, which I've selected. Pop it. Oh, good God. Here we go. I need to put that into my um, inventory that I'm holding, which is what this is at the bottom. Something horrible is nearby. Ah, that's a spider again. Uh, I'm going to put the crafting table there. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to make quickly some torches. Look, which is that button. I'm going to make a load very quickly. And we've got our, we're holding our torches now. That's a spider's eye. And when I pop it on the wall, all of a sudden we can see where we're going. And we're gonna, we can go, you can go really, really deep into mines. It's, it's amazing once you start going into mines. Like, oh, look how deep this one goes, right down here. And it's, there's a little hole there as well. So, I get me stone pickaxe. Deep. Um, we're looking for when you when you're mining, and some of the mines you find like um, disused mine shafts that um, some of the someone's been there in the past or some ghoul or something's made, and uh, yeah, you find a load of diamonds and it's just mental, yeah. So and from diamonds you can craft the hard stuff, um, iron you can make uh, railways. And you can make mine carts to, to get around quicker. Um, let me highlight torches again. There's some oh, iron. So let's extract some iron. And then from the iron. There we go, it's collected it. From the iron. Oh God. Look how deep it's going now. I'm just going to go down and show you. This is why you need a load of wood, because you end up going purely from wandering around so deep. We're actually so deep now that it would be probably take me ages to get back up to the top. So from now, I create another crafting table and just dig around in the mine, collect as much ore as possible and things I can find, build things, learn how to make things, go back into the universe. And um, from the iron, you'll be able to make armor, and all sorts of stuff like that. So, yeah, mate, just wander around, investigate, enjoy the world, and good luck with it, mate.